Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing another product review. Another product I'm going to be reviewing is by LA Long Aid Naturals. It's a Manuka Honey and Coconut Curling Jelly. If you guys see my curl box unboxing, this is one of the products that I received in the box. And I decided to review it. I heard nothing about this brand. I feel like this brand is really, really small. Like, I don't even know where to find it. That's why I was kind of iffy about doing a review on these products. Because I don't know where you guys can find it. I looked on their Facebook page. Like, if you type in, like, Long Aid LA Naturals, they have a Facebook page page and you can buy the products directly from there so that's always a good thing but I don't know where else you can buy this product so this product retails for $6.99 so it's pretty cheap it brings a lot 10.5 fluid ounces so on it it says it's free of sulfate parabens dilates and all this good stuff it says manuka honey coconut oil and soothing aloe vera help eliminate frizz to find curls without crunch, ideal for hair types 3B, 4C. Enjoy. Coconut oil helps protect against protein loss, moisturizes, and helps eliminate frizz, defines curls. Apply this curling jelly to wet hair in sections. Use more jelly for coarser curls. Relax while your curls transform into bouncy defined curls. So I'm just going to apply this product regularly and we're going to see how this product is. Now my hair is drying up. What's new? So I need to work quick. So let's open this bad boy up. It's very clear. You smell the coconut, but you smell something else. Like, it has, like, a, a deeper scent. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, you smell coconut, but it has some other kind of scent. It smells all right to me. So this is how the product looks. Okay, it's not sticky. It's nice, and it's really smooth. So I'm just going to apply this product all throughout my hair. Let's do this. It smells really light, but it smells like deep. I don't know, it's not like... It's not like a strong scent. I'm just gonna apply this to the front of my hair now. I'm probably gonna have to apply a little bit more when I go to the bathroom because I don't know what I got and what I didn't get. So this is all that I'm gonna apply to my hair right now. For some reason, I feel like it's not gonna really do much to my hair. I don't know. I don't know about this stuff. I don't know what to tell you guys. This product, you know, it applied nicely to my hair, but I really hope it's going to define my curls. That's what it says, right? That's what it says. It says, relax while your curls transform into bouncy defined curls. So let's see if this product helped define my curls and keep it nice and bouncy. We shall see, but I'm going to go ahead and let my hair air dry. Okay, so now that my hair is completely air dry, I can give you guys my first impression of this product right here. So let's start with how my hair is currently looking. As you guys can see, my hair is looking pretty shiny. And the shrinkage is real with this. I feel like it, like my hair really shrunk up. Basically, that's what I'm saying. So with this product, I noticed there was a slight cast. But what I did was I just scrunched up my hair like this. And I removed some of the cast. So I did like that. My hair does feel nice and bouncy. My hair feels really soft. So I am liking that. One thing I'm noticing with this product that I'm not really a big fan of is the way that it smells. It doesn't smell bad, but I don't know. I don't really know how to describe the scent. But what I'm liking is that it doesn't really linger on your hair. So you're not, you don't really smell anything after it air dries, so I am a big fan of that. Another thing with this product that I'm noticing is that my curls are pretty defined. As you guys can see, my hair does have some shrinkage, so I am really liking that. So overall, for my first impression, I like how my curls look defined. I like that my curls are nice and shiny, and I like that after I broke the cast, my hair feels nice and bouncy. It feels really soft, so I am liking that. Hey guys, so today is day two of me trying out this hair product right here. So I could give you guys my overall thoughts for today and my final review of this product. So let's start with how my hair is looking for day two. I think it looks pretty nice. I'm I'm pretty impressed. So let's start with some of the pros and then we'll move on to the cons. So I would say a major pro of this product is how it doesn't weigh my hair down whatsoever. I don't know why I thought this product was going to weigh my hair down. Maybe because I applied a lot yesterday. Yeah, I applied a lot yesterday, but my hair, as you guys can see, it's not weighed down. Yesterday, it looked a little bit flat, but of course, first day hair always sucks for me. Another pro of this product would be that I left my hair pretty shiny. Not so much today, but yesterday, as you guys saw, it was really, really shiny. Today, not so much. No, I don't think so. Do you guys think my hair looks shiny? I don't really think so. I will say another pro of this product is how fluffy my hair is. How fluffy, how bouncy, all of that synonyms. My hair is really fluffy today because it's not weighed down. So because my hair isn't weighed down, it left my hair very fluffy, very bouncy. And that's what this product claimed to do. It claimed that it was going to give you bouncy, defined curls. I'll talk about the curl definition later. But as of now, my hair is pretty bouncy. It's really fluffy. Like, I can't help but touch it. It's not weighed down. It's pretty big. So I am liking that. Another pro would be the way this product smells. Now I know yesterday I was being really negative about the way it was smelling. I thought it smelled really weird yesterday. But as I'm smelling it today, I don't think it smells that bad. It has like a light... First of all, I don't know how to describe it, but 
the best of my ability is that it smells light it has like yeah it has like a light coconut scent very sweet but it smells like something else and I don't know how to describe the something else but it has like a coconut scent. This product says Manuka honey and coconut. I don't really smell any honey. Maybe that's a sweetness. But no. I smell the coconut a lot with this. Um, it doesn't smell weird. And I'm just glad that this product doesn't really linger in your hair. So that's a pro for me. So let's move on to some of the cons. So I would say a con for me is that this product doesn't leave your hair super defined. As you guys see, whenever my hair is super fluffy and bouncy, the curl definition isn't really there. So while I like how my hair is bouncy and fluffy and all that good stuff, I wish my curls were a little bit more defined. But yesterday when I left the house, it was raining and it was really humid afterwards. So with this product, I noticed that it doesn't really handle the humidity. It leaves your hair a little bit frizzy. So if you guys live in a humid place or a place that really rains and all that stuff, I would recommend that you use this product with something else. Maybe something that's a little bit stronger. Maybe like a stronger gel or a stronger styling cream. Because by itself, um, it wouldn't keep up with the humidity. It wouldn't keep up with the heat. So it would make your hair a little bit frizzy. What's up guys? So I wanted to pop in quickly and show you guys how my day 3 curls are looking. As you guys saw yesterday, my day 2 curls were fluffy and bouncy and all that good stuff. But for today's curls, it's completely frizzy and I do not like the way my hair is looking. So I had to put my hair up in a bun real quick. But I just wanted to show you guys how day 3 is looking now. I tried to add more product and it didn't really help with really um clumping my curls back together. So that's just a quick FYI. If you guys are using this product, make sure you use another product with it. Because by itself, it's not going to really clump your curls together. But that's all I have to say. Let's roll back to day 2 hair. So let's continue with the video. But uh, yeah, this product doesn't really keep your curls super defined, so that's one thing that is a con for me. And another con of this product would be that it's not super moisturizing now. I don't like to use products by itself. Whenever I apply a product solely by itself, I don't find it super moisturizing unless it's like a leave-in conditioner. But um, this product didn't leave my hair feeling dry, but I would recommend using this product with maybe a leave-in conditioner or something that's a little bit more moisturizing because by itself it's not super moisturizing so that's pretty much all i have to say about this product i know that i wanted to keep this review this is like a mini review you know short and to the point i just wanted to tell you guys my first impression some of the pros and cons with this product that i'm noticing overall this product i don't think it's bad it claims that it'll leave your hair bouncy and defined and i think it did that but i think my hair is pretty bouncy and i don't think it looks bad for second day hair so overall i think this product is pretty good but uh, of course there's some pros and some cons with every product so that's pretty much all i have to say about this hair product if you guys tried this out let me know what you think hopefully you guys can find it near you i really don't know where to find this product like i said yesterday online if you try to google it longate naturals and this hair product you could probably find it somewhere online not so much in the stores i'm really curious like will they ever put it in a store i don't know you don't have to use so much you can use this with like another styler or with another leave-in conditioner and i think this product will last you a pretty long time hope you guys found this video pretty helpful if you guys did please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye guys.